Hey, hello guys, hello. This is Debo Pompey returns with part two of my part two of my Christmassy special here for you guys. So thank you if you've tuned in for this part. Um, okay, so this is the second game that I had to show. Um, I wanted to show off uh, a second uh, um, boardy game um, that um, I kind of like to play because I love board games and I love computer games too so mixing the two together is always fine okay so let's um, get into this uh, do let's go to this one because I want English of course and if my PlayStation actually works I might actually get through this video okay so you can probably judge what game this is okay this this is Monopoly um, again for PlayStation 2 now both Sugo Roku and Monopoly um, you can get pretty cheap. I mean, Sugoroku is probably a bit harder, um, a bit harder to find. Uh, Summer Wars 2 is a little bit harder to find uh, in the shops than Monop Mon Monopoly is. Um, but then again, most PS2 games generally are because because they're being phased out. I think you know gradually. But uh, both of them I got under probably under five or six quid uh, on Amazon. Um, so not not too difficult. I think Monopoly I got for about um, about uh, seven pounds or so uh, in in a shop. But yeah, Samurai Warriors Two was was you know five or whatever from Amazon. Um, so yeah, quite easy to get hold of. And this game Monopoly is um, was released in two thousand and eight uh, for PS2, DS, Xbox, uh, PS3, and quite a few consoles actually. Um, it's uh, it's a Monopoly game. It that it's just called Monopoly, but on the on the case it's it's got it says featuring classic and world edition boards, which I'll go into and show you that in a second. Um, and it's one of these ones where you can um, you can get cracking straight away and probably finish a game in half an hour. So it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good for that sort of thing. Right, so let's uh, let's go into this. If the game wants to work and doesn't crash on me. Come on. It's the joys of working with live stuff. Right, okay, so there's Mr. Moneybags himself. And, you know, if you... Oh, sh what? Uh, basically, everyone's everyone knows what Monopoly's Monopoly's about. If you haven't heard of Monopoly, uh, where have you been? Um, but yeah, it's one of those great games, family games where you can sort of get in and in, get into. Um, but the, the 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 console, the video game version has um, has a a few little extras if you like. So let's just get through that intro. Okay. So uh, Monopoly edition is basically a standard edition. Um, of Monopoly, and you get a number of boards. The richest edition is is a lot more difficult, and I don't think it's actually anywhere as good as the normal edition. Um, the richest edition can end so quickly, and and it almost feels like you have no control of that game. Um, I won't go into it because I, I just don't I just don't, do not like it at all. Um, if you're interested, I know YouTube it or something for the richest edition. Um, cause it, but it's it, for me it's not that good. And uh, down the bottom is we have mini games, which I'll show. I will show you. Uh, the mini games get incorporated into the richest, richest edition. Um, they're not in the original, um, but I will show you that separately. Uh, I will show you that in this video if I get a chance to. Uh, I just kind of want to show you um, what sort of boards there are, what the layout looks like, give you a bit of an opinion, and then I will show you a couple of the mini games. That's kind of why, because generally everyone knows what Monopoly is about. So, if I go into this one, right, um, when you start the game, you don't have all the boards. I think I probably have got, I haven't got all the boards, have I? Because I'm such a mug. Um, I thought I would have done, but oh well. Right, okay, I have to go onto this passport thing. So, in this game, you have to, uh, you have to unlock new places. So, when you land on spots in the game, you get passport and you get a stamp in your in your passport. Shut up, please. Uh, you get um, you get a stamp in your in your passport, which allows you to get unlock new levels, new stages. 
So if I go to next. Yeah, so uh, when you start the game, you get World Classic and uh, and I think you do get Future. Um, and there's Sweet Board, Cheese Board, Jungle Board, Ice Board, uh, Deco Board, Card Board Board, and World Board. So you start well. You start off with a few. I think I think it's both the. I think it's the first two, World and and, and Classic. Um, I did have them all. I did unlock them, but on my data must have got deleted or something. I'm using the wrong memory card or something. But anyway, that's not that's not a big deal. There are quite a few boards there to choose from. Each one has their own aesthetic, their own layout, um, which is quite interesting. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the standard because I'm 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 a kind of old-fashioned kind of guy. Right, and then you can play with one or multiple controllers, but it's just me, so I'm just going to play with one, and I'm just going to play with uh, my play with one human. Uh, I believe in, the, in this game you have to have you have to have four players, much like Sugoroku. So I'm just going to go with the boot uh, next, and then with the computer AI you can choose medium, easy, or high. Um, I would go for I would go for high generally. Um, but it's not terribly important for the, for this sort of video. Uh, it's not really bothered all the way, to be honest. I guess if you were just planning to start first, starting off, choose easy and then move up. You, it wouldn't take you very long to, to get to, to get to that point where their where their skill is um, where their skill the skill level is different. Where you you could actually play it properly. Um, the real only difference I found with the high and the high the skill levels is that um, the computer. Uh, the, the computer AI tends to it tends to be it tends to um, tends to reject a lot of your offers. It's um, kind of it's not interesting your offers very very much. Okay, so uh, just roll the dice and see who goes first. As you can see, board is your standard Monopoly board, and I've got quite a good roll there. Um, and basically, whoever gets the highest roll in this one um, is is the winner. So. A good thing about this one that sets it from Sugoroku is that you can, you know, these board games do take time, um, and you can set rules and stuff to 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 change the duration of a game. So, like, you can change it to get to a certain point, or you can even have a game where you where you where you've already started off with with properties and stuff. So you can make it quicker, or you can go for this one and have a, like a massive long play. But the good thing about this this game is when you do have a, a long play. Um, is you can save it in this one. Um, you can you can save it and come back to it later if you want to, which is always good. Um, I don't know why Sugoroku um, doesn't have that feature. Uh, it's balmy to have a game, especially if you're playing on the longest long, longer set and taking the longest time, that you wouldn't have any kind of setting to actually be able to save it. But this game does, so that's fine. Okay, so I've, I've made a roll. I get a chance to buy Whitechapel Road. Um, or I can auction it straight up. I might as well buy it. It's not terribly, uh, terribly expensive. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much the sort of standard, if you like, of of this game. And then you go to next turn with your accounts. When you go to accounts, you can sort of um, you can sort of mess around with your um, with your with your properties you own. You can mortgage them if you need to. You can make deals with other players if you want to. Um, and that's already is already auctioning it. Okay. And this is the auction. Okay, so um, it's pretty much how you expect. Just put in bids. You can bid. You bid ten, ten monopoly money each time. Um, and ba I'm basically just going to let the red and the green fight you out of this one because I'm not particularly bothered about it. I mean, it's a hundred. It's that's well, ninety actually. If I, I might go into it, actually. I get it for if I can get it for the price it is, then fine. I ain't losing, not gaining anything, I'm not losing anything, it's just uh But you'll find on on the higher difficulties they will um they will push you further as far as the auctions go. I wouldn't say that great, but you are. So as you go across the board and picking up your places, you know how Monopoly is. Um you know, you get your you get your chances and stuff, uh, your chance cards. Really poor, poor um uh, rent at the start of the game obviously just takes time um, with these things. But if you like to get invested in in uh, a games like this, then um, then you know it's always good. 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, I said said before about the about the boards having their own sort of style. As you can see, we're sort of working like a museum sort of look because of it being the old-fashioned style Monopoly board. We're in a museum, and you can see all like the the the, the things and cabinets and stuff. When you get into different turns, uh, different boards, you get like a different environment. So if you're on the jungle board, for example, you get a like, vines and trees and stuff that sort of thing and when you're in the candy you know, the sweet board you get like, all the like, cakes and stuff and the boards all colorful and, and things like that um, the only sort of negative I can think about of this game is well a couple of things actually the music um, that you can hear at the moment um, I don't think it actually changes I think this is the only track in the game um, and it can get quite repetitive, especially for a long game like this. I guess you can always mute it. Um, that's fine, I guess. But it would have been nice to maybe mix it up. I'm not 100% sure on this because I haven't played this game in a couple of months. Um, but I think that's um, that's kind of how it is. The only and um, the only other negative I've got is the account screen, um, because you look at the board already. There's a lot of colour, and the fact of the matter is, you can't. You have to use the analog stick to move around. You can't use the D-pad for anything, um, and sometimes it can get a bit annoying um, when you're trying to when you're trying to select options. Um, the D-pad you can use for um, going from sort of back and forth, like where I'm going from back, back and trade, and, and again. Um, but say for example, you it, it ends up being too much on the screen, and when you get into a game and there's lots of spaces, lots of property being on, been bought, all the colour comes out. And when say when you want to trade with somebody, uh, and you select like someone who's got a lot of properties in yellow, it's like it's so much on the screen, um, it can get confusing. Especially when you're playing this game for the first time, uh, it does take a while to get to get used to everything on the screen. That's kind of really my own negative about that. All right. Anyway. What I'm going to do is pretty much that's the sum up of the of the actual game itself. Um, you know, it's a great game. If you've not Monopoly, then you know, go for it. I would. It's cheap as chips. You can buy it whenever. Um, I buy it from you know cheap you know uh, from Amazon or eBay or whatever. I'm sure you can find it. Good game. Just don't go near the Richard's Edition. I didn't like that at all. Right, anyway, so the mini games. Now, the mini games you only get in Rich's edition. You can only have four players if you have four controllers. So I'm just going to go into one. That's just to me. Right, so you have to unlock these as they go through. But I'll show you the one that is unlocked. Anyway, so there's quite a few mini games actually. And then some of them are alright. But uh, they have a little something different. So I'm going to go to the first one, which is Go to Jail. So if I go to the next one. Right, so this is one of the mini games, Go to Jail. Okay, so basically with this one, you have to wiggle the stick and press X each time to jump uh, over the obstacles. And the first one to get to the end wins. So as you can see, we've got all four of the players. I'm, not, I'm at the top, so if I just wiggle... Oh, crap, I didn't even see that. Whoa. So you don't want to get arrested. Look at his little feet go. Whoa. There we go. Obviously, on high difficulty, um, that's a lot harder. Um, but they, they they incorporate the mini games into into the um, richest edition, um, so it adds a little bit of something. But I just don't the richest edition for me didn't really feel like proper monopoly to me. Um, yeah, you unlock clothes as you go through the game though, and you unlock new boards as you go through the game. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really great game if you're a fan of monopoly. Um, and you don't really, and you don't own a board, or um, you're not a fan of the actual whole, um, of whole the whole getting out all the all the pieces and and, and all, all the stuff and stuff of that. It's a good game to have. Um, so that's that's kind of it for this um, my Christmassy special edition. Um, hopefully it's it's uh, it's Christmassy enough. Uh, thank you guys if you've been watching. Um, this has been D Boy Pompey Returns. Um, Thanks again, chill, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.